The holidays are just around the corner, and while many treats can be packed with delicious flavors, they can also contain a lot of excess sugar and calories. And it's easier than you think to make food choices that offer a balance between healthy and satisfying. So here to give us a few tips on sweet ways to have your cake and eat it too is registered dietitian Patricia Bannon. Good morning, Patricia. Great to have you on. Good to be here, Stephanie. All right, holidays, they're almost here. I know I'm baking pumpkin pies already at my house, but can we still have those treats without the guilt? It's true. There are some e easy things you can do to enjoy the holidays because there's tons of treats that we start to see now and they last the next few months, right? So one tip I like to give is when you're at home, stock up on fresh fruit. Have it there available so when you want something sweet, you always have something to pull from. Another philosophy I have this time of year is that you can eat almost anything. It's just a matter of moderation. So when you're at the buffet, have a smaller amount of those higher calorie things, but fill half of your plate with vegetables. And then this is also the time of year you talked about pumpkin pie. Well, baked goods are so prevalent. So a tip I give when you're baking is that you can replace up to half of the sugar in any recipe with the zero calorie sweetener stevia, which is going to help you cut some of that sugar and calories. Yeah, we did that at my house, that half and half when making the pumpkin pies. We did half sugar, half stevia, and it tastes exactly like regular pumpkin pie. I mean, would, would you say that that's a misconception when it comes to substituting ingredients? Maybe it's the, the taste factor in that? Yes, and I love that you did that with the pumpkin pie, and that is a concern that people have when they want to make a recipe healthy. Maybe it's grandma's recipe or it's a, it's a family recipe for years and years, and you might want to lighten it up a little bit, but you don't know if the taste is going to be the same. You don't know if it's going to change the texture. So what I like about Stevie and the Raw Baker's Bag is that it's formulated so that one cup has the same amount of sweetness as a cup of sugar. And by substituting up to a cup, you can save up to 700 calories. Now, the only tip I give is is what you did with your pumpkin pie is that you don't want to substitute more than half of the sugar in the recipe. And the reason for that is only sugar is going to give you that proper browning, rising, and caramelizing that you're looking for in a baked good. So to make the crust in a food processor, you're going to combine pistachios and coconut flakes, some regular sugar, some of the stevie in the raw baker's bag, some whole wheat flour and regular flour and a little salt. And you're going to process that up to that you're going to add some olive oil and some butter until you get a wet dough and then you're going to press that into a baking pan. You bake that up for about 15 minutes until it's a cinnamon brown. Uh, anywhere you want to send us online where we can find this recipe and more. Yep, so you can get this recipe and more. Some of the other recipes you see here like this flourless chocolate cake at a new e-cookbook which is free for a free download called Half Your Cake and Eat It Too which is available at intheraw.com. Patricia, thank you so much. We're ready to take on the holiday season. If you guys are too, head to our website. We'll have this interview posted at Fox